The definition of the convergence of any sequence a n can be written in many manner, can be written in number of ways. So, the following statements are actually equivalent to each other and we will try to prove and try to see from definitions themselves that how they are happening to be equivalent to each other. So, a n tends to a is same as saying for all epsilon greater than 0 there exists a number n such that mod of a n minus a is less than epsilon for any small n greater than or equal to this capital N. And it is again equivalent to saying for every epsilon greater than 0 there exists an n such that a n is an element of the interval a minus epsilon a plus epsilon for any n greater than or equal to the capital N. And again the equivalence also holds true with the statement that for all epsilon greater than 0 there exists an n capital N such that a n is an element of the neighborhood of a for epsilon neighborhood of a for any n greater than or equal to n. So, how is that happening? Let us try to prove it now. So, a n tends to a. By definition, what do we know about it? By definition, definition of the limit of, of, a, of a sequence, a n sequence tends to a. That means that any n epsilon a, that is your any neighborhood, epsilon neighborhood of a, a n belongs to that epsilon neighborhood for all n greater than or equal to some rank capital N, some rank capital N. Okay? This n is for neighborhood and this n is for, so I could probably write neighborhood also here, this is your neighborhood. Okay? Now, this is same as saying that you know for every epsilon greater than 0, what do I have? I have that a n belongs to the neighborhood, epsilon neighborhood of a for any n greater than or equal to this rank n. Essentially what are we trying to say that after a certain natural number, after a certain natural number, say this is n after this certain natural number the sequence will hover around this point A only. The sequence A n will hover around this A only. That is what we are trying to say. Now, this by definition is, this is an equivalent statement to saying that for every epsilon greater than 0, there exists a rank, there exists a rank n such that a n belongs to the neighborhood of A for any natural number greater than or equal to this rank n that we have given, okay? some rank n or some natural number n after which it will just hover around in that interval of neighborhood. So, this is same as saying for all epsilon greater than 0, there exists an n, a number n such that a n belongs to the epsilon neighborhood of A for any n greater than or equal to n. Mind you, we are just trying to write the same statement in a different manner and this statement is same as what? it is same as the statement D. Okay? For every epsilon there exists an n such that a n is in the neighborhood of A. Okay? This is nothing but your statement number D. And we will prove that again this can be rewritten as for all epsilon greater than 0 there exists an n such that a n belongs to now, if I just open open up this neighborhood, by definition it is essentially, the neighborhood of A is essentially A minus epsilon A plus epsilon for any 
n greater than or equal to n the number n and this is basically your statement number c this is basically your statement number c which is talking about a minus epsilon a plus epsilon and this is also equivalent to saying that for all epsilon there exist in n such that a n minus a is less than epsilon. If you open this up, you will get this interval, right? This is nothing but that the distance between a n and a is epsilon. The distance between a n and a is epsilon. Let me just depict it for you. Let me just depict it for you. So, the distance between a n and a Okay, a n can come from here, a n can come from here. The distance between a n and a is epsilon, okay. So, it can be plus epsilon, it can be minus epsilon, right, for all n greater than or equal to capital N. So, indeed, each of these statements are depicting the same story, which is that a n tends to a, the sequence a n tends to a.